Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to another episode of Creative Tuesdays. All right, all right. Before you guys say anything, I know it's Wednesday today and this tutorial was supposed to be uploaded yesterday, but because of some work, I could not do it, so I'm uploading it today. In this video, you will learn how to create some cinematic titles in After Effects without using any third-party plugin. So let's check out what we are going to create. So as you saw in the preview, these titles are very easy to create and we are not going to use any third party plugin. This is 100% After Effects. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and as you can see that I've already imported a couple of files. So I will put a link in the description below from where you can download these textures and everything. So once you have downloaded this, just simply import them in After Effects and you are ready to go. So first we are going to create a composition. So go to comp new composition and let's call this logo and width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate. You can go with 30 FPS and duration 15 seconds. Just click on OK. Now under this composition, I'm going to quickly drag my logo. So it's totally up to you. You can use whatever logo you want. So I'm using this Harry Potter logo. So if I enable the transparency and let me just quickly scale this down. So here you can see that we have the logo. Now I'm going to apply the fill effect to this so that I can change this to white color. Just like this. So you can turn off the transparency again. Now you can use whatever logo you want. Even if you want, you can use the text as well. So just simply select the text tool and you can type whatever you want. So that would work as well. So once you have created your text, now I'm going to create another composition. So let's go to comp new comp and let's call this logo bevel and just click on OK. And let me just quickly drag the logo into this composition just like this. So now I'm going to create a bevel profile. So using which we can add some 3D look to this. So first I'm going to select the layer then right click, go to the layer style. And from here you can enable the inner glow and under the layer styles. Again, let's go to the inner glow. So here we are going to change few of the settings. So first we are going to change the blending mode from screen to normal. And then let's increase the opacity to 100%. Color, let's go with black. And if you come under the technique, then you can change it from softer to precise. And now we are going to change the size. So it's totally up to you. You can choose whatever size you want. So I think 15 looks good for this logo. Now it will depend upon your logo. And here you can see that now we have this really nice glow going on. So we are pretty much done with the bevel profile. Now let me just quickly create another composition. So let's call this texture and I'm going to create another comp. So let's call this main. Just click on OK. Now let's open up our main composition. And first I'm going to drag my texture comp over here. So let's open up the texture comp as well. So I'm going to use this texture. So you can just simply drag it into this composition. So let's select this, press S and I'm going to scale this down something like this. So I'm going to apply a effect called curves to this. And let me just quickly search for another effect called tint. So I want this to be black and white, just like this. And now I'm going to increase a little bit of contrast. Something like this. So yeah, we are pretty much done with our texture. So let's go back to the main comp. And now I'm going to import my logo and the logo bevel. Now let's quickly select the logo comp and I'm going to change uh, rename this to alpha. So now we can probably disable these layers. Now let's apply some effect to the texture layer so that we can see our logo. So the first effect is CC glass. Just search for it and you can just simply drag it onto the texture. And under the surface, let's change the bump map to logo bevel and all the things will remain same 
let's change the softness to zero and displacement to zero as well so right away you can see that we have this engraving of our logo but we are not able to see our logo since the old texture background is visible so in order to get rid of it we can use an effect called set matte so just simply drag it onto this and now i'm going to change the matte layer to logo alpha so here you can see that now our background is not visible we only have our text and now let's add our another background so over here you can see that we have this grunge texture so let's drag it onto this now you can probably scale this down or however you want and let's apply curves to this as well and let me just quickly increase its brightness and let's just make it something like this yeah so i think this is looking good now let's add some 3d depth to this text but before that let's do one more thing let's go under the lighting and under here you can see that we are using the default lighting now let's change this to after effects lights and all the things will remain same so now you can probably select the layer then press ctrl d to duplicate it and on the layer below let's apply a effect called cc radial blur just search for it and just drag it onto this now the first thing that we are going to change is the type so just change this to fading zoom and now let's play around with the amount so let's change this to something like negative 15 or negative 10 whatever looks good so over here you can see that we have this really blurry kind of fading and we are going to apply another effect so let's search for curves and let's change this from rgb to alpha so let's click in the middle and after that you can drag the curve to the top corner and right away you can see that our edges are now much sharper and we are able to see the 3d effect so let's do one more thing let's change its color so we probably want this to be a bit darker so let's lower down its brightness and let's play around with the contrast so yeah, i think this is looking much better now let's add some lighting to this so in order to do that we are going to use after effects lights so first let's go to layer just make sure you are inside the comp then go to layer new and just click on light and first i'm going to create a parallel light so intensity you can go with 250 or whatever you want so just make it a little bit brighter just click on ok so right away you can see that we have the lighting going on so let's place this somewhere around here so i'm going to move this and just move it to a place like this now you can select the middle point and you can just simply drag it and move it around so right away you can see that our logo is interacting with the lighting so you can place it wherever you want so for this one i'm going to place it over here just like this so right away you can see that we have a really nice lighting going on but on this side it's really dark so in order to fill that we need some more light so let's go to layer new and let's create another light for this one i'm going to create an ambient light and just make sure to change its intensity to 50 otherwise it will be too bright so right away you can see that it has created a really nice ambient light and now we are able to see the areas over here as well so i think the texture is probably very dark so i can go inside the texture and let me just quickly select this and let's just increase this a little bit up yeah so i think this is looking good now we have the lighting over here and let's add another light so let's go to light and for this one i'm going to change this to point light and if you want you can add some colors to this so on this one i'm going to add a little bit of blue tone just click on here so here you can see that our light has adding some colors to the scene so i'm going to select this and just move it somewhere around here so just play around with this and you can probably play around with its position so right away you can see that our light is visible and it's interacting with the text let me just quickly change the light and just place it somewhere 
around here yeah i think this is looking much better since this is not a real 3d object so we have to add some fake shadows to this so in order to do that you can select the texture layer then press ctrl d to duplicate it now let's select the bottom one and i'm going to first rename this to shadow and after that i'm going to remove a couple of effects so the first one is the cc glass we don't need it and then the curves as well after that i'm going to apply fill effect to this so just search for fill and just drag it onto this and i'm going to change its color to black just like this so now we are going to use the cc radial blur in order to add some shadow to this so let me just quickly increase the amount and the next thing that i'm going to use is i'm going to move the center point so over here you can see that our light is at this corner and it is falling on our text so in order to add the shadow we need to have a point over here so that our shadow will be cast in this area so we can select the shadow layer and from here we can easily change the center point so you can just simply place the center somewhere around here just like this so here you can see that we have this really nice shadow now let me just quickly decrease this just like this now i'm going to select the shadow once again and press ctrl d to duplicate it and on this one i'm going to increase the shadow amount and here you can see that now we have a really nice shadow going on so if i disable this here you can see that before and after so we can probably select the background and let's go under the curves we can increase the brightness we can lower down the brightness and increase the curves something like this yeah so i think this is looking good now i think this blue color is not looking good so i can probably select this then you can either press aa or you can just simply go under the properties and layer options and from here let me just quickly change this to something like this yeah so i think this is looking much better now you can play around with its intensity but for this one i think 50 is fine so we are pretty much done with our logo part and let me just quickly add some bumps to this so in order to do that what i'm going to do is let's select the let's open up the bevel profile and under here i'm going to create a new solid so you can just simply right click new solid and just click on ok and on this one i'm going to apply an effect called fractal noise just apply it and now i'm going to quickly increase the contrast quite a bit and let's increase the brightness as well just like this now i'm going to quickly drag the logo over here and i'm going to select the solid and i'm going to change its track mat so if you're not able to see the track mat option you can just simply click over here and now i'm going to change this to alpha mat so right away you can see that we have these really small grunges over here so we can probably select the logo then press t for opacity and i'm going to lower down the opacity to something like 30 it has these really small grunges on it and once we're done with this if we go back to the main comp here you can see that we have added some grunges over here as well now if you want to make them pop out you can do one thing you can just simply increase the opacity and now if i go back here you can see that now these are visible just like this but for this one i think let's stick with 40 i guess yeah so i think this is looking fine now if you want you can also animate this so you can select this and you can just simply animate the evolution and all the texture will be animated over here as well now if you want you can play around with the texture as well so let me just quickly go inside the comp and i'm going to scale this up and let me just quickly place it somewhere around here yeah so i think this is looking good and let's make this little bit darker so i think now it's looking better now if you are able to see these 
kind of jagged lines so you can Im increase the quality and it will be fixed something like this so now we are done with our text and this is the end of part one and in the part two i will show you how you can add some glowing cracks and add some really nice outline to this text so you can watch the part two by simply clicking over here and if you have any queries or questions you can ask in the comments below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in part two